Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Paul, and this episode we're breaking down one of the most interesting aspects of the boys, that is Stormfront. Throughout this video, we're going to be going over everything you need to know about her, including her true identity, comic book origins, powers and more. Obviously, there will be heavy spoilers here, so if you haven't had a chance to check out the 6th episode of the second season, then I highly recommend that you turn off now. Make sure you drop a thumbs up if you enjoy the video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for breakdowns like this every day. With that out of the way, thank you for clicking this, now let's get into Stormfront. Okay, so though Stormfront initially seemed like some sort of social justice warrior that was always on a phone chatting to idiots, and boy, do I, do I know what that feels like, hey YouTube? Got <laughs> She's actually a far more complex character that dates all the way back to the start of the 20th century. Stormfront was born in Berlin in 1919, and though we don't know her actual name, I do have a theory that it's in fact Adele. In episode 6, we learn that the woman she'd been claiming was her mother was in fact called Chloe, and with the name Adele being of German descent, it does make sense that this would actually be her own. It was also used as the password for her computer, which I doubt she would have done had her daughter actually been called Chloe. Now Stormfront quickly became swept up in the civil unrest that was going on at the time in Germany, and she became a member of the National Socialist Party, aka the Nazis. Their leader, Hitler, was obsessed with the Aryan Superman, a group of people apparently descended from ancient Norway that he viewed as the master race. Hitler wished to rule over the world and supplant them as the true people of the future, and thus he hired Frederick Vaught to begin work on a super soldier program that would create people with extraordinary abilities. Stormfront married Vaught, and we discover that she was actually given the first ever successful Compound V injection, which granted her incredible powers. Stormfront is actually trying to replicate this procedure, and though we don't know for definite yet, I do believe that this holds the key to her immortality. In episode 6, we learn that babies injected with V take to it quite well, whereas adults do not. The fact that we know the seven were young children that have aged normally, whereas Stormfront hasn't, I think ties into her receiving V in adulthood. It is possible that, if you have it when you're already matured, that you don't age at all, but either way, Stormfront has lived through the last century barely changing at all. Why she left Germany is unknown at this point, but if we look at the comic books, namely her counterpart, in that he fled the country during the war and ended up in America working for a vault program named Payback. Payback is pretty much the Avengers, whereas the Seven is the Justice League. Now though Stormfront wasn't really present in the war, he still clearly carried the ideals that he was brought up with, and they remain in him even after all the social change that humanity went through over the past 50 years or so. Now in the show, Stormfront became Liberty, and throughout the 70s she operated throughout the Deep South. After stopping a civilian and murdering them because they were black, Liberty faded into obscurity and was likely hidden away by Vought who wanted to brush this dirty little secret under the rug. They even paid the only eyewitness off and Liberty was quickly forgotten about as new heroes were brought into the limelight. Now most heroes would have just been cast to the side, however it's likely because of Stormfront's connection to Vought that she was looked after by the corporation. We do know that, at some point, Stormfront was a member of the Church of the Collective, however, she left after they started letting people in that she viewed as undesirable. After the death of Translucent, Stormfront was brought in by Vought CEO Stan Edgar, and she quickly gained a mass following of people due to her edgy posts and memes. It seems like she's trying to manipulate these fans, known as Storm Chasers, to create enough public outroar so that she can launch her true plan, which is to create an army of superpowered people to rule over the world with. Initially, she started off by publicly ruining Homelander's image, however, she's come around recently and is likely just using him for more than lasering her tits. Now, I actually believe that she wishes to have a child with him and that she's purposely trying to get pregnant in order to not only have a son, but also have it as something that she can use to control him. Stormfront is very high up in Vought, and because of this, she's likely aware of what's going on with his son Ryan and Becca. Through their relationship, she will have seen that no matter what, he won't kill Becca, and I think she's trying to get things in place so that, if it ever comes down to it, he won't kill her either. Homelander is probably the only person that ever could, and it's a really smart move by the character. Now on top of this, Homelander possesses many of the character traits that she looks for. He's pretty much the embodiment of the Aryan Superman, and if she wishes to truly create a master race, it makes sense to have a child in the vein of the villain. 
Now as for her powers, she actually possesses quite a lot. As I'm sure you know, Vault make all their soups in a lab, but they give them comic book like backstories to make it seem like they're heroes. Stormfront is actually supposed to be a Nordic god, which not only ties back to the Aryan race, but it's also meant to riff on Thor from the Avengers. Stormfront is able to manipulate plasma, and she can charge molecules with electricity in order to fire out electrical blasts. These powerful attacks make her almost unstoppable, and not only do they blast those hit with them backwards, they also incapacitate the target for a while. Stormfront can also fly, and with this she's able to move through the air at Mach 3 speeds. In addition to this, she's super durable and is capable of withstanding all types of damage. The character also possesses a healing factor that means she can recover from any wound quite quickly. So la laser a bloody tats will you? Now to top it off, she has incredible superhuman strength that means she's able to move through objects with ease. In episode 3 of season 2, she completely devastates an apartment complex in minutes, blasting through the walls and killing most of the people that she comes across without prejudice. Well, well it, it was pretty prejudiced to be fair. Now, as mentioned earlier, she's also almost immortal and at this point, we don't know whether she ages or not. If she was born in 1919, then that makes her... Uh, two, two seconds, wait. It's, it's 2020 now and 1990, carry the one. 101 years old. Now, with all this combined, she's probably the most powerful in the seven. I really hope that it comes down to a battle with her and Homelander. However, Cindy is also a wild card too. It does seem like Cindy was the one used to kill Reyna due to her abilities that we see her demonstrate in episode six. Stormfront has clearly been using her to tidy up her dirty work and I think it would be brilliant to see the two go head to head. Now, as for the comics, Stormfront follows a pretty similar path but instead of being married to Vought, he was part of the Hitler Youth program. He fled to America and Vought actually reused some of his DNA for the other soups. Homelander in some ways is actually cloned from Stormfront, which if they carry this across to the show, it's gonna make that sex scene even, even weirder. Ugh. I don't know if they will do this, but as she is the first ever soup, who knows at this point. It's not, it's not like Homelander isn't a complete weirdo anyway, and from what I've seen of the guy, he might even like being with himself. But how did the character die in the comics? Well, Stormfront was a big baddie in the source material, and he was actually taken out by the boys. After they wiped out Payback, the group hunted him down and managed to kill him by basically clobbering his head in and then stamping on his balls. Ouch. I'm not sure if this will be carried over to the show, especially the balls part, but I think the character definitely deserves a really gory death as let's face it, she's pretty much the worst person ever. She makes Homelander look like Clark Kent and Lex Luthor look like, like someone good. I don't know where this is going. Now, whether she will survive this season or not remains to be seen, but it's clear that the character will do anything to remake the world in her image. It's a scary thought and hopefully this video has given you everything that you need to know about her. If there's any major updates, I might do another video down the line discussing her, but thanks for bearing with me as we gave you the 411. Now obviously, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Stormfront, so make sure you comment below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, then please drop a thumbs up, and make sure you check out our breakdown of Homelander, which is going to be linked at the end. We go over everything you need to know about the hero, well, villain, so definitely check it out after this. We're also giving away a free copy of the Christopher Nolan collection, and all you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is like the video, subscribe to the channel and drop a comment below. The winner is going to be chosen at random on the 30th of September, so make sure you get involved. If you want to support the channel and get to see content early, then please consider clicking the join button below. You can also come chat to us on our Discord server, linked in the description, or heavy spoilers on Twitter. Thanks for making it until the end of the video. You've been the best. I've been Paul, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.